Hi, I'm Gretchen. I'm one of the respiratory therapists with Bayview Home Care. I'm going to cover how to change your regulator on your tank. So if you notice that the gauge right here is in the red, that would mean it's time to change your tank. If maybe you know that you're going out and you need a fuller tank and it's maybe a little less than a thousand, which is a little less than half full, and you're like, I'd like to take a new tank, then what you can do is go ahead and change it at the same t today. So you're going to close the tank by turning this to the left or counter clock or clockwise. So one C for clockwise, one C for closed. So again, to the left, or clockwise. So if you have pressure still in the regulator, you might need to drain it. And draining it would be to turn this dial to continuous flow. That's going to drain the pressure out of the regulator and it's going to put the needle on zero. You need it on zero to change your tank. So now it's time to change. So again, I always make sure before I touch this handle that this is in the off position and I can't turn it to the left anymore. Now I'm going to unscrew the regulator. I'm going to pull the pins out of the tank and I'm going to slide the regulator off. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to grab my new tank with the tab on. I'm going to take my finger in the hole and I'm going to pull the tab off. Then I'm going to take the holes that are here, the three holes, and I'm to point them to my left hand. I'm going to slide this into the bag. Then I'm going to take the regulator and make sure the pins are on the bottom. I'm going to make sure this O-ring is uh, present. It's there. So now it will seal to my tank. I'm going to lift the tank handle up straight up in the air and I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to slide it down until I can feel the pins going in the hole and then I'm going to tighten the regulator to the tank. Then all you have to do is crank it open by turning it a half a turn and I'm going to make sure the setting on the regulator is in the off position so I don't drain the pressure and I'm ready to go. You're back to video number one. But let's say that that didn't work for you. You have a difficult time doing it that way. Here's another option. So I'm gonna go back to draining the pressure. So this is off, let me turn it off. So I turned it clockwise. Now you can see that my pressure is full. I'm gonna have to drain that or this regulator will not come off. So I'm gonna turn the dial all the way to continuous flow. You can actually see the needle dropping down. And then I'm gonna turn it back to the off position. I'm making sure this is off and I'm gonna take the regulator off. Slide it up. So here's another option. I'm gonna place this tank across my lap. I have the pins facing up here to the ceiling. I take the regulator, so these pins now at the bottom are now facing towards my right hand. I'm gonna lift it up, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to slide it like this. So now gravity takes over, the pins fall in the holes, my finger pushes against the regulator, and my thumb grabs the inside of the tank and I'm going to just tighten it. That's just one way some people have an easier time. Okay.